Here we have another Meshalach in the Parsha. If you say in your hearts, these nations are more powerful than I, how shall I inherit them? How will I drive them out? Do not fear them. Remember well what Hashem your God did to Pharaoh and all of Egypt. So when I'm faced with this verse, the Meir Shalach directs me to a question. How is it possible to warn of something that happens by itself? The greatness of another army, of another people, the fierceness. It's not in my control. How can I not fear something that I have no control over whatsoever? It's the most natural thing in the world to fear something that I have no control over. So the Meshulah tells us the only way that you can know what's in a man's heart is by his actions, by what he does, by what he says, and the mitzvot that he does. And that shows what's in the depths of a man's heart. For example, if somebody has the ability to rule over his peers, to rule over another person, but he doesn't do it. That shows that he truly fears God. If another person adorns the mitzvot, he, he puts more into it, he spends more money even on mitzvot. That shows his, his love for God. It's showing what's in that person's heart. So in, in this with this verse, you say in your heart, the Torah specifically mentions saying in your heart that these nations are more powerful than I. How am I going to overcome them? How am I going to drive them out? So God warns about the, necess the necessity of removing illusions from the heart of Israel. The heart of a Jew has a special power, it's kifus. Kifus is that power of not holding back. It's, it's the power of knowing that one is connected to God and what is being a channel for God. And going, and even against a, a certain obstacle that, that is seemingly un, beyond our abilities, that when somebody has that strength and it feels divinely inspired to go, to, to go forward regardless. So the the heart of Israel has this special power of tkifus. So what we need to do is harness this power and use it to remove any illusions. For in truth, God doesn't want us to fear anything illusory. This is the way the prophet Isaiah said, I have not said to the seed of Jacob, seek me in desolation chaos. The Hebrew word is tohu. And as in the first verse, second verse in the Torah, the earth was chaos and void. So I, I didn't say, seek me in chaos, in tohu. God is not found in chaos. Chaos means fearing the illusory. Fearing an illusion is chaos. And a man must know that there's a force running the world. And he wants his creatures to be of a calm mind. He wants us to have a settled mind, to be at ease in our souls. So that's why God warns us here, don't fear them. Meaning don't fear anything superficial, any illusions on the surface. Only fear the one and only source of all.